riot gear, any volunteers, gas in a zip block, now that's loud and clear, this one out of here, this is our year, our year, our year. That's a fight. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is obviously going to be a get ready with me, um, as you can tell by the title. I have like my mirror set up right here, so I'm going to be like looking right here to do my makeup or whatever. I mean, I'm not doing nothing crazy because it's 90 degrees outside, okay? The high today is supposed to be 92. It's 84 right now, but regardless, it's too hot. Like, it's really too hot. Like, honestly, I probably won't even go outside, so... I'm just gonna do this few videos like do my makeup or whatever like get cute take pics regular you know how that go I'm gonna start with my eyebrows or whatever um, I'm not gonna be showing you guys products cuz I'm not no makeup artist like I don't do this like I just do my face and that's it like I don't do makeup that's not my thing so um, some of you guys might already know that if you follow me on snapchat or Instagram wait, let me turn this if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you probably know that I graduated college um, this past May. Um, I was like super excited about that, honestly, because college was not my thing. <laughs> like, I'm glad I did it, but it was just too much for the kid. But <laughs> um, whatever, I did it. I'm glad I did. College isn't for everybody, like, I don't know why everyone thinks that, like, if you don't go to college that you can't do nothing in life. Like, college really isn't for everyone. If you know what you want to do, if you have plans, if you have, like, actual real goals towards whatever it is that you want to do and college is not in your plan, then go ahead and do it. But I do advise that you go to college as a backup plan because life happens. Like, things happen. Not everything always works out. So, like... It is something good to fall back on. Um, I majored in accounting. A lot of people have been asking me in my, in my, um, well, not a lot of people, but I got a few questions about like my major and stuff. But I was an accounting major. I don't really know if I want to tell you guys what school I went to. I mean, you could probably find out, but <laughs> I don't, I don't really fuck with that school anyway. So, but yeah, that's that. I graduated got a job or whatever obviously still looking to get a better job so like the last few weeks of college was like really crazy really hectic honestly for a second i thought i wasn't about to graduate like i was like yo what i'm about, what i'm about to do though like what's going on but obviously i did it um yeah so like that's really it about college also I don't really have like much else to say about college like it's over and done with like that was long gone um but if you guys do have questions regarding college my experience or whatever you guys can leave those questions down below and I'll probably make a Q&A video about that um depending on how many questions I get but I might make a Q&A video about that because I know a lot of people are interested in like knowing the college experience um things like that play that go like things such as majors social life like stuff like that so um i'll definitely make a video on that depending on how many questions i get so yeah that's that i also wanted to talk about coming back home to live after college like honestly it's like so different for me i don't know i don't know if it's like this for anyone else like one thing i could say is that college like definitely not i mean changed me not in a bad way though like i learned so much at college like i learned so much yo just living on your own and like doing things on your own time and like stuff like that like you learn how to like you learn eventually learn how to do things like i don't know if anything college taught me how to be smart and independent like that's one thing smart and independent like um so like coming home coming home to like 
coming back home to my parents' house where people trying to tell me what to do. People trying to tell me what, like, it's just always, it just seems like it's something is always an issue. And I'm like, yo, I need to get out of here. Like, these people are crazy. I mean, I'm not going to say they're crazy, but I'm like, I'm 21 years old. Like, y'all really got to stop it. Like. I was technically living on my own for four years, like, don't even, honestly. Like, I'm not with that, like, I'm really not with that. Like, I'm not in high school, like, y'all, niggas is not about to treat me, like, I'm five years old, like, it's a dub. I graduated college, like, I could be doing so many, so much other things, like, I know people that are having kids, I know people that are getting married, I know people that are doing so like doing things that i'm not like i feel like i live a regular life like i literally live a regular day-to-day -day life like I, I just don't see what the problem is i'm not saying there's anything wrong with having kids or getting married like whatever at a young age but like that's just not me and plus i'm not doing it like so what's the issue like i don't get it Coming back home and like living with your parents is like so freaking different. Like obviously you want to stay home and stack your bread like till you're ready, like till you have whatever, like till you have your life together so you can move out or whatever the case is. But like I just feel like at this point I'm trying to like rush it. Like I'm really trying to rush it and it's not my fault. Like I, re I really don't want to rush it. Like I would like to stay home and save money or whatever, but I just can't like be living with my parents anymore to be honest i was also watching uh katherine bedell's get ready with me and she was like talking about the sim like similar things like moving out how um i guess she said that like her and her mom are both adults or um and it's like when it's many adults living in one house like there's like issues like there are a lot of not problems but people don't always see eye to eye and like I always, I always tend to see that um, me and Catherine Bedell have like similar problems, not problems, but like we go through like similar things in life, which is so weird to me. Um, I know that she's also a Scorpio, and her birthday is also in October. I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like we like, I be watching her videos. I'm like, is this girl like living my life right now, or or what? So like I do. I do want to move out like honestly I hate living here like I hate to say that I hate living in my parents house but I hate living here like to the point where I just stay in my room all the time like I literally stay in my room if I'm home I stay in my room all day long like no matter what like I'm staying in my room I have been looking at apartments and stuff already like, a lot of people have been telling me, like, yo, you need to stay home. Like, you need to stay home and save. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I know that. Like, I really want to. But it's like, bro, my parents blow mine. Like, and I don't even really mean it to say, like, oh, I just want to do whatever I want. And blah, blah, blah. But it's like, the littlest things, like, is an issue. And I'm like, what? Like, obviously, I'm 21 years old. Like, don't complain about be me being out all day. Like, like, come on. Like, that's annoying. That's what bothers me. Like, okay, cool. I don't mind updating you on whatever it is that I'm doing. But this video was not to bash my parents. But honestly, it's just to talk about what I'm going through right now. Like I've talked I've talked to a lot of people about this, like my boyfriend and my friends. And they're all like, yo, you should really stay home. Like, what are you moving out for? I'm like, I know, but y'all don't know like what the hell goes on in my house. Like y'all don't know. And I'm not saying like nothing crazy be going on, but I'm grown. Like that's just that's just the point. I'm grown. Like I'm twenty one years old. I graduated college like see I could understand but like college has changed me so much the experiences that I had in college is really what's like making me feel this way if I move like I really want it to be like a smart decision I don't want to just get up and move and like 
not have anything or like whatever so like i've already been thinking like i've already been looking at like furniture and stuff so i, I plan on buying for buying furniture and stuff before i move so that like once i move it's not a burden um i live in new york oh, sorry i sound like that because i was like but i live in new york and I don't live in the city I live like an hour away from the city so yeah like further north and it's just an inconvenience for me also that's another thing like I got a job in the city I got a job in the city which was like what I wanted like while I was in school first of all I applied to over 150 jobs okay I didn't go on that many interviews, which was, like, kind of annoying. Like, why am I applying? But then again, I feel like I was applying to jobs that I was, um, like, not qualified for. Um, I guess it's kind of like once you are, like, you just need the experience. Once you graduate college, you really should be looking at entry-level jobs. And I feel like I was, I, like, now that I look back at it, I feel like I was not applying to, um entry-level jobs like I was applying to jobs that were not for me really so um but I got a job in the city and parking in the city is like crazy so it doesn't even make sense to drive usually for the day it's like $25 to park or something but um um so I usually take the bus down to the city. So the bus is like, I mean, it, it gets pretty expensive. Also, the bus thing is like, the cost is not really the issue for me. It's really like how long it takes to get to work. So, um, it's, so listen, I wake up at like 5 a.m. I wake up at around 5.30. I have to catch the 6.39 bus to get to the city by 8.30, 8.45 sometimes. Um, and then I have, I have to be at work by nine. So then after that, I have to take, I have to jump on the train, which is probably like a 20 minute ride. And then I'm at work, but like, I wake up at nine and I don't get to work until like a little after nine. So like, I don't even get to work on time sometimes. Like a lot of the times I don't even get to work on time. So like, it's just too much. I have, I'm going to like start saving first of all i'm really bad at saving but it's kind of like if there's something that you want to do like if you know that this is something that you want to do then you're gonna do it like no matter what and that's just how i feel about moving out like literally it's something that i think about all every day like while i'm home while i'm out like it's something that i th that i think about all the time like i'm just like yo i cannot be here i'm like trying to I'm trying to be smart about this at the same time, but, like, obviously I don't want to rush, but at the same time, I'm trying to get out of here, like, it's just so annoying, like, I hate always feeling like I'm being watched or that, like, something like that, like, I just hate always feeling that way, like, and there's, like, no reason for that to even be happening, like, like I said, I'm not a bad kid, like, I don't be doing nothing, so... But yeah, I mean, it's life. I just feel like once I, like, get my money right, like, I'm really off this. Like, and at the same time, my parents, are, my mom is always talking about, why are you always such in a rush to move out? And I'm like, because y'all act like this. Like, that's why. Like, what the hell? I need to get a darker foundation because the foundation I have is, like, my winter color. Like, well, not really my winter color, but... It's like my real color, like my real skin color, but obviously I get darker in the summer, so I need to get a foundation that matches my skin in the summer. I was using the MAC Match Master SPF 15 foundation, um, and I really did like this foundation. It lasted a long, it lasted like two summers actually. Wait, was it two summers? Yeah, it lasted, it lasted me like two summers, but... Um, I need to get a new one, but like, I don't really like Mac. Like, Mac is overrated. Like, I'm off that. People be OD talking about Mac. Like, 
it's overrated like come on like drugstore products are better like <laughs> don't don't argue with me i just really wanted to like get on here and just talk about life like what's going on like life after college like <sighs> time to be an adult now i guess i don't mind adulting like i really don't mind it but if i'm adulting why not be treated like an adult right like <laughs> but then again back to what katherine bedell was saying in her video when you have many adults living in one house like yeah it used to be two adults it used to be my mom my dad now it's three like it's just something that you have to accept like i'm not saying i could do whatever i want like obviously it's your house but don't be trying to give me no rules like honestly don't do that i'm too i'm too grown like that's really what blows my mind and also, like, another thing that blows my mind is I, I did, don't be doing nothing. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to rush it because I don't want nothing bad to happen. I don't want to live here. I don't mean to be, like, negative Nancy or whatever, but it's just real life, to be honest. Like, it's just real life. Besides that, there's, like, nothing really new in my life. Um... I got a car upgrade. He followed me on Snap. You probably would have seen it. I really just came on here to talk about like how I was feeling at the moment. Besides that though, I'm really like enjoying life. Like I'm I'm loving life right now. Like life is treating me really well right now. I can't lie to you. I really can't lie. Life is doing its thing right now like it's lit it is Letitia I think I'm about to wrap this video up because this thing says it's been recording for 30 minutes but this is just like a whatever video like honestly I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about stuff because I feel like why not let you guys know like what's going on in my life like whatever this is my channel I'm supposed to be real with you guys so I'm trying to be as real as I can 